Grade 7 math number 6.4b, solving two-step equations with negative numbers. Just as with one-step equations, we can use inverse operations to solve two-step equations, even negative ones. Temperatures, ocean depth, sea levels have negative numbers, and we solve the equations the same way as we did with the positive ones. To convert a temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, first subtract 32, then multiply the result by 5 ninths. Well, we're going to go the other way around because we want to find out what negative 10 is. An outdoor thermometer showed a temperature of negative 10 Celsius. What was the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? So we're going to use the formula 5 ninths times x minus 32, and we're going to say it equals this negative 10 Celsius. Because there's a fraction here, the first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by its reciprocal. 9 fifths. That's step 1. 9 times 5 is 45, and 5 times 9 is 45. So that created 5, 45 over 45. That's a 1. So now we're able to ignore that. Now we have to multiply this side by 9 fifths. We're going to put a little 1 underneath the 10 to make it a fraction, can't we? Negative 10 times 9 is negative 90, and 1 times 5 is 5. So now we've got x minus 32 equals negative 90 over 5. We can simplify this. 5 goes into 90 18 times when we do our little division on the side. So now it's x minus 32 equals negative 18. Remember, it had a negative sign there, so it's negative 18, OK? So step two is we're going to add this 32 to each side to isolate that x and to get it by itself. So now we create a 0 pair. If you have negative 32 and you add 32, it creates a 0, right? It makes 0. And negative 18 plus 32 makes positive 18. So we know it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit. See? So 10 degrees, minus 10 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 18 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's try this one. An airplane flies at an altitude of 38,000 feet. As it prepares to land, it descends at a rate of 600 feet per minute. At this rate, how many minutes will it take for the plane to descend to 18,800 feet? All right, well, let's take a look at this and break it apart into little pieces. Its altitude is 38,000 feet, and it's starting to land at 600 feet per minute. But we don't know how many minutes. That's what we need to find. So we can make m equal the minutes, and 600 times the minutes is going to tell us how it's going to descend, won't it? So we think it's descending, so that means subtract. And the 600 feet per minute is a multiplication equation. So we end up with 38,000 minus 600 m equals the 18,800, because that's where we're planning on getting it to. See? How many minutes will it take for the plane to get to that number? So that's going to be our equal. First thing we do is we isolate the term that's got the variable. We don't want to touch this yet. We want to do our subtraction first. We subtract 38,000 from each side of the equal sign. 38,000 minus 38,000 makes a 0, so that's gone. So now we've got negative 600m, and we find the difference between 18,800 and 38, negative 38,000, and that's negative 19,200. So now we've got negative 600m equals negative 19,200. Step two is we want to get this m by itself. So because this is multiplication, negative 600 times m, that's what it means, we're going to divide each side, because that's the inverse operation of multiplication, is division. We divide both sides by the 600m. 19,200 divided by 600 is 32. So we know it's going to take 32 minutes to descend to 18,800 feet. OK? Let's try this one. Bob earned an 88 on a possible 120 points on a test. He lost four points for each incorrect answer. How many incorrect answers did he have? All right, so let's think and break this apart. Four points for each answer means 4x. See, four points each answer. 120 was the total points for the test. We need to subtract the amount he got wrong from the 120 to equal the 88 that he got. See? Started out with 120. He got some wrong. That was 4 each. And then it equaled the 88. 
So we're going to have 120 minus 4x equals 88. Step one is to isolate the term with the variable, so we're going to do our subtraction first, right? So because it's a positive 120, we're going to subtract 120 from this side. 120 minus 120 makes 0, so that's gone. 88 minus 120, we find the difference, and it's 32. It's going to be a negative 32 because 120 is so big, it pulled the 88 into the negatives, didn't it? So we have negative 32. So we have a negative 4x equals negative 32. So because negative 4x means negative 4 times some number, x, the opposite of multiplication is division. So to isolate this x, we're going to divide both sides because that's the inverse operation. So we divide each side by negative 4 to isolate that x. The negative 4 over negative 4 makes a 1. That's our little invisible 1 that we've always talked about, right? And negative 32 divided by negative 4 is an 8, a positive 8, because the signs are the same. So x equals 8. We know Bob got 8 wrong on the test. All right, so that's two-step equations with negative numbers. Not much different than the positive ones, right? I hope this was helpful. If this video was helpful to you and you liked it, please hit the like button. It's the only way I know if my videos are making any difference for anybody. And if you want to support Joanne's school, you can become a monthly patron by going to patreon.com for a dollar a month. You help me, and I help you, and we'll get through this. See you next video. Bye.